Hey guys, and welcome to Writing for Wednesday. Today you're going to practice something that is so important no matter what genre or type of writing that you're doing um, because it is the basic foundation or the most important part of writing and it is writing a complete sentence. So just like I've talked to you before about saying things when you're recording them in complete sentences, we also have to write in complete sentences and there's three main steps to that. Okay, is it a complete thought? What I mean by that is when someone asks you a question, do you like gummy bears? If you just say no, that's not a complete thought. No, I do not like gummy bears. That would let anyone around you know what the answer no is to. If sometimes we just use short phrases, we don't actually answer the question or give a complete thought. For example, did you like the story, The Pigeon Has to Go to School? Yes, I like the story, The Pigeon Has to Go to School. I now have said what yes is the answer to. Or I wouldn't just say, penny. That wouldn't make any sense. I could be talking about a coin. I could be talking about a girl. I could be talking about a friend, a sister. I'm talking about my dog. My dog is named Penny. My dog's name is Penny. That's a complete thought. So does it make sense, basically, is what we need to ask ourselves. Number two, a capital letter. Now, as a first grade teacher, I know that we are great at starting sentences with capital letters as long as they're at the top of the page. You got to keep checking as you write sentences that you are continuing to use a capital letter. And number three, it ends with a punctuation mark. Not just a period either. It could be a question. What is your dog's name? Question mark. Or, don't step on the dog. Would get an exclamation point because you're saying it with a lot of emotion. So, yes, a period is a great punctuation mark as long as you're just making a statement. But we've also got to look at what we're saying to know if we're using the right punctuation mark. So today... What's behind me is an orange chart where I'm going to put complete sentences and a blue chart where I'm going to sort incomplete sentences. Now, if you guys were here, I'd be passing them around and telling you to peek and look and read, but you're not. So, Miss Kimbrell's got to do all of it. So, I'm going to read and then we're going to kind of talk through a few. So, remember, complete sentences are going in orange. Blue is where my incomplete sentences are going. So, let me find a good one. Reading for fun. I see a lot of things wrong with that. I hope you're telling yourself right now that there is no punctuation mark and there's no capital letter and it doesn't make any sense. So, it's an incomplete sentence. Hmm. This will be fun. Do I see a capital letter? Yes, I do. Do I see a punctuation mark? Yes, I do. Does it make sense? Sure does. So it goes in the complete sentence category. Running fast. Capital letter. Yep. Punctuation mark? Yeah. Does it make sense? No. Who is running fast? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is it you? Is it an animal? What is running fast? I don't know. That's incomplete. It makes no sense. Let's find a good one. Ooh, something I say a lot. I like this story. I love to read to you guys, so I usually get to say, I like this story. I see a capital letter, do you? I see a punctuation mark, and it makes sense. So where does it go, complete or incomplete? Oh, you're right, it's complete. Two more, let's do two more. Hmm, let's make them hard. Ooh, I know a few people that can say this already. I am seven. I see a capital letter, 
It makes sense, but there's no what? Punctuation mark. Are you saying I am seven, period, or I am seven, like it's your birthday, and it would get an exclamation point. So since it doesn't have a punctuation mark, it is incomplete. Now, maybe this is what some of you like to do on your break time. I will take a walk. I walk Penny every morning and every afternoon when I get home. I see a capital letter. I see a punctuation mark. Does it make sense? It sure does. I know who and what they're doing. So now it's your turn. You're going to drag some sentences to either complete sentence or incomplete sentence on the next page in Seesaw. Good luck. If you need some help reading, remember use your word detective skills you learned last year or ask an adult. Good luck.